Welcome to the second trimester routine. You've made it through the first trimester and that was probably hard work. It was probably one of the more challenging times during pregnancy, right? Agreed. That first trimester? The first trimester and then the ending. The ending, yes. <laughs> the ending where you get one of these. At so least you rewarding. get one of these, right? Yes, right. that's good. So this second trimester routine, we're going to support some different energies because your body has changed and transformed. You cleansed and cleared. And now what we want to do is support your kidney energy, your liver energy to make sure you're stress free, or at least you can process the stress of going through all these transformations and keep your joints nice and open. So this routine's a little more invigorating. It's a good workout. It's stress clearing and it's energy cultivation. So we really hope you enjoy this second trimester routine. What do you think? <laughs> Can you say Qigong? Can you say Qigong? <laughs> enjoy the routine. Hello everyone and welcome to this second trimester Qigong routine. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Much Excellent. better? Excellent. Much better. I'm feeling about the same myself. First trimester, second trimester, but you are feeling a lot better, huh? <laughs> Pregnancy. Wow. What a journey, huh? Mm. Let's do some Qigong that will help you feel better because that's what this is all about. Feeling better in our bodies and helping the Qi move through you and circulate through the body so it not only nourishes the baby, but it nourishes you. And so this second trimester routine is about the wood element. The wood element is about the tendons and the ligaments because things are opening up and moving and changing. And as we move into the third tri trimester, don't you like how I say we? As we move into the third trimester, you want your body, that facilitation of the energy to move through the hips, the rib cage, and everything else. I bet you're starting to feel your body shift and change. Oh yeah, lots of movement. Um, definitely s stretching in the sternum er sternal area and then I feel changes in the sacrum. It's changes all around. Changes all around. Look at this. And we're getting kicks and movement. It is very exciting. So get ready for this routine. You're gonna stand with your feet, shoulder width, bend your knees a little bit, get comfortable. And we're gonna put one hand on the belly, one hand on the chest. Let's breathe. Breathing is so important for managing our stress and our energy. And if our thoughts get spinning into worries or ruminations, your breath can help to ground you and bring you back to the present moment. This is called wave breathing. We're going to start the breath in the belly and let the breath rise up to the chest. So you're going to inhale, full deep breath in through the nose, exhale out through the nose. Slow, deep breathing is good for so many things in your body and in your mind. Deep breath through the nose, about a five second inhale and a five second exhale. We're going to slow everything down so that we can be present. We can clear, we can transform stress into relaxation. Inhale, full deep breath, exhale all the way out. And just do that for another few breaths, full breath in, bring all that oxygen into your body. Exhale, let go of any stress, tension, or tightness. And what Qigong does is it's going to integrate your breath into movement. So let's start off with spinal cord breathing. Bend your knees hands up by the shoulders. This is an exercise we did in the first trimester. We're going to add to it. So let's start with a review. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, round your back, tuck your tailbone under. And a nice deep breath. Exhale, round your back. And inhale. Exhale. And remember that deep breathing and spinal movement helps to move you from stress mode into relaxation mode. It switches your nervous system from sympathetic to parasympathetic. And this is when we feel relaxed and at ease in the present moment, grounded in our bodies. Exhale, round the back. Now turn. Turn to your right side. Inhale, look up. 
and then come back to the center, exhale as you round. And turn to the left side, inhale. Exhale, round to the center. And when you turn to the right side, feel that opening into your rib cage. Exhale and round. And it was like Hetty was saying, there's often a movement in the ribs, there's some tension in the sternum. So this exercise can help to create space through the ribs and the solar plexus, as well as the spine. Nice and slow, feeling that spiral. This routine is going to work with spiraling energy. And the spiraling energy is the energy in nature. It's the way nature moves. So we're going to open up the natural flow of energy in our bodies. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round to the center. And a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Feel how you can synchronize the breath with the movement. We'll do it one more time. We're going to turn open the chest, round the back, and relax. Doesn't that feel good? Open the spine, a youthful, flexible spine. And that's what Qigong is all about, creating natural flows of energy in your body. We're going to do a movement and an exercise now called Qi Massage, and it's going to open the heart center. Again, these first few exercises are clearing stress to rebalance your body and your mind. The chest, let's tap right here at the sternum, kind of close to the top of the sternum, and then just work your way down. Go up and down along the sternum. You know, when we, when we hold stress or when we're mentally stressed, this area tends to constrict or get tight, which often brings a lot of tension or tightness to the neck and shoulders. So take one of those deep breaths in through the nose, and then go ahead and exhale out through the mouth just as a release, a letting go of anything that you need to clear as you do this. Inhale. Now in Qigong, these are called activations. You are activating the Qi so that the Qi circulates because Qi, like water, feels good when it's circulating. And when water gets stagnant, that's when it doesn't feel so good. Energy is like water, so we want to keep it circulating. Take one more deep breath as you're knocking on the chest. Exhale. Relax your hands and arms down to your sides and let's feel the activation of chi in our own bodies. See if you can feel a little buzzing or tingling in the chest, in the heart center, and down through the arms. And what we want to do is keep that heart center open because when your heart is open, we're full of love compassion and kindness. When that loving energy circulates within you, it also flows and circulates within the baby. All right, hands on your thighs. Let's open the spine again. This is called turtleneck, a great spinal enlivening exercise. You're going to bring your chin to your chest and roll down, bend your knees, and then look up. And as you look up, inhale, push your hips forward a little bit, and then slowly roll down. Inhale and just unlock the energy through the spine. And we're working with the front side of the, of the spine. It's important to remember that the spine has both a front and a back. When you are bringing your chin to your chest, feel the energy flowing down the front of the spine. And then we get a nice open flow of energy through the spine, the nervous system, into the baby, into the lower abdomen. And as you can feel, this movement has a nice downward flow of energy. And we just open the heart, and now we're going to take that energy and bring it down through the body towards the lower abdomen. And bring that loving kindness, that relaxation down through the spine and into the belly. Inhale as you come up. 
and exhale as it flows down. Deep breathing, synchronized with body movement, helps to create a flow of energy. Exhale as you come down. Inhale up. One more time. Inhale. And relax. Good. These movements are designed to feel good, to nourish your mind and your body, as well as the baby. So if anything doesn't feel good, feel free to skip it, modify, take care of yourself. You don't have to do all the exercises. And these are all exercises that are going to help your body open, expand, and maintain that smooth flow of life force energy. What was known as in Chinese medicine, qi, energy, aliveness. And now your body has more qi in it because you're growing that baby inside of you. Not only are you working on your own energy system, but there's another energy system within you. So it's important to tonify or to strengthen your body's energy system to manage both. And this next exercise is going to help with clearing stress, tension, and tightness in your neck and shoulders. It is called spreading the feathers. We're going to have the palms facing forward. Bend your knees. Your hips glide back. You're going to take a deep breath and then exhale and stretch. So your fingers reach towards the floor. At the same time, your fingers are reaching towards the floor. You're bringing your chin back and in. Getting a nice stretch through those lines of tension. Let's do it again. Inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Again, deep breath. Stretch. One more time. And now let's go ear towards the shoulder. Stretch and feel that in the upper back, neck, shoulder area. In fact, it goes all the way through the arm to the fingertips. Now slowly roll the head back and forth across the shoulder, nice and slow. And just stretch out all those muscles. While you're stretching, it's important to breathe and breathe deep. If it feels <clears throat> especially tight in the neck and shoulders, you can exhale out through the mouth. And when you exhale out through the mouth, that's one way we can let go a little bit deeper. On your next exhale, bring the chin to the chest. Let's do the other side, ear towards the shoulder. Reach fingers towards the floor and then slowly roll the head back and forth while you're breathing. When you roll the head back, you're stretching the front of the neck. And when you roll the head forward, you're stretching into the back part of the neck and even into your upper back between the shoulder blades. As human beings, we carry too much tension in the upper back, neck and shoulders. Free up that energy so that you can use it for other things. Take a deep breath. Let's do it one more time. Inhale. Exhale, chin towards the chest, relax. Rolling up, shake out the arms. All right, how does that feel so far? Feeling good? Feels great. I could see that one being helpful for postnatal when you're holding the baby so much, all of that usage of these. Absolutely. Muscles. Hear that, dads? You're going to be holding the baby too. <laughs> so you're going to get tight neck and shoulders, right? So holding, especially babies, you're holding like positions for long periods of time. So yes, keep this in your repertoire for when that healthy baby is born and you're doing other kinds of Qigong like this. <laughs> all right. So we did the outside of the arms. Let's also do the inside of the arms because we have yin and yang. This is Chinese medicine theory. The outside of the body is yang and the inside of the body or the front of the body is yin. So we're going to stretch this part as well. We start with the back of the hands forward and glide the hips back. 
and stretch. Now you're going to spiral through the pinky fingers. Pull the arms back a little bit. Shoulders down. Tuck the chin back and in. And again. Back of the hands forward. Inhale. And exhale and stretch. Back of the hands forward. Inhale. Gather some chi. Exhale. Send it down through the length of the meridians in the arms. Meridians mean energy pathways. And we want energy to flow smoothly through the whole body. Think of energy like water. When water is stagnant, it's not healthy. When water flows and circulates, it has healing power and it's healthy. That's the water we would want to drink. So the same is true with our bodies. We want that water of life, the chi, to flow smoothly through the body. Inhale and exhale. Reach fingers towards the floor. And again, let's go ear to the shoulder. Slowly roll the head back and forth and breathe into it. If the neck feels tight or if it feels like you're carrying emotional stress in this area, go ahead and exhale out through the mouth. Exhale, drop chin towards the chest, down and across to the other side. Roll the head back and forth across the shoulder on the other side and breathe into it. Let go of any unnecessary energy. Deep breath. Exhale, chin to the chest, arms down. And now feel the flow of energy down through the arms to your fingers. Just close your eyes for a moment. Notice how your body feels. See if you can feel that flow of energy down through the arms into your hands. You have freed up tension and move that tension into energy circulation. And especially when you're pregnant, you want excess energy available to nourish yourself and the baby. Feel that energy now in your own body. Wonderful. Now we opened up the neck and shoulders. Let's open up the hips, the low back, and the sacrum. So take your hands on your hips and your thumbs can go right over your lower back area. Just take your thumbs right into the lower back, bend your knees. And now let's circle the hips. Let's circle the hips in one direction. When your hips come forward, press in with your thumbs just a little bit. And you can do as big of a circle as you'd like. Go slowly and just start to integrate and move energy into the hips, low back, and lower abdomen. When your hips come forward, press in with the thumbs. You can move your thumbs to different spots, pressing in, giving yourself some, some acupressure, some self acupressure in the lower back area. And let's circle the other way. Press in with the thumbs as the hips come forward. When the hips go back, you can move the thumbs to a new spot. Wonderful. Come back to the center. And now just press the thumbs in. Bring your hips forward. And then release. Bring the hips back. Move the thumbs to a new spot. Press in as you bring the hips forward, opening the spine. Let the hips come back. Move the thumbs to a new spot. Self acupressure through the lower back area. And these pressure points are good for nourishing the kidney energy, which is the water element. So even though this routine is going to focus more on the wood element, the wood and the water work together. The water nourishes the wood, keeping your body flexible and healthy as your body shifts and changes. One more time, press in with the thumbs. 
relax. All right, now something fun, arm spirals. We are gonna be holding two teacups in our hands. You're gonna be doing the same movement with your hips. Bend your knees. Now, because you're holding teacups, you wanna keep your palms face up. This is gonna open all the joints in your body. So glide your hips back. Fingers come in and then away from you. Hips still back. Now, when you bring your hips forward, the hands come over the head, back to where we started. And ideally, you're still holding your teacups. Still holding the teacups? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's glide the hips back. Fingers away from you and then push the hips forward, hands over the head. Glide the hips back. Now the idea in this one is to relax your arms and shoulders. Have the movement come from your center, from your hips and your waist. Push the center forward and bring the center back. And I bet you being pregnant, your center has shifted. It feels different. You're moving from this place of power, this place where this new life is growing. So we're going to open up the joints in the hips and the pelvis, and then take that opening up through the spine and out through the arms, the shoulders, elbows, and wrists. And we were talking earlier about the spirals being a natural form of movement. And if you look out in nature, this is how waves move seashells, tree branches and tree roots, everything in nature spirals all the way down to your DNA. Their spiraling energy is the way nature moves, the way chi moves, the life force energy manifests in spirals. So you're opening up some natural flows of energy in your body. Glide the hips back. When your hips come forward, you can even squeeze the buttocks to bring more energy into the lower spine. Squeeze the buttocks as you bring the energy into the lower spine and spiral. Are you squeezing your buttocks? Mm -hmm. Okay, I could tell. I thought I felt something. Could you feel my chi? Yeah, I could. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Ah. <sighs> and relax. All right. How does that feel? Good. We are going through a process of unwinding, opening energy to make that chi circulate and bring nourishing energy to you and the baby. All right. Let's do uh, an exercise called swimming dragon. It's a review from the first trimester exercise. Let's do it again. We're going to step out a little wider stepping out wider than your shoulders, hands by the heart. And let's just start off with some nice deep breathing. I want you to inhale and open your chest. And exhale, palms touch. Heart to the sky, inhale. Heart to the sky and exhale, heart to the earth. Let this chest sink, connect to the earth here and open. Connect your heart and your energy to the sky and the universe. Exhale. And a deep breath. One more time. Bring all that wonderful life force energy into your heart center. And now what we're going to do <clears throat> is stir it in with the movement, swimming dragon. Bend your knees. Let's go ahead and shift our weight to the right. Shift the weight, push your hands right, and turn your head left. Dip in a little bit if you want to work out. You're going to bend your knees and shift the weight. Push the hands to the left, head turns right. Bend the knees. Feel that earth energy at your feet and underneath you. And then shift. Good. Bend the knees, press the hands, head turns in the opposite direction. And this is an internal spiraling movement. It creates an unwinding and a massaging of the spine and the ribs back and forth. And it is actually a pretty good workout. Feel that in your legs. This exercise is for the wood element and the principle of the wood element is resiliency. Resiliency is the combination of strength and flexibility. 
and being pregnant, you are an embodiment of that principle, becoming even more resilient, strong, flexible, able to go with the flow, move with all the changes that are going on in the world around you and the world within you. Now come back to the center. The swimming dragon then moves into the spine and we just do this little movement into our spines. See if you can go a little bit lower and then start to come up. Move the energy in your spine. All the way up over the head, moving it into the ribs. And then let's reach up and extend. Take a deep breath. And back to the heart center. And inhale. Exhale. Sink the chest. Inhale. Open the chest. Breathe deep. Exhale. Inhale. Hands up over the head. Exhale forward and down. We'll do a wide leg forward bend. Feel free to modify this stretch if needed. If it doesn't feel good for you, just skip the stretch. This will stretch the back of the legs and the lower back. Take a deep breath and just feel the earth underneath you. Exhale down to the earth, allowing any old energy to release to the earth. Remember the earth energy is there Whenever you need it, it transforms stress back into vitality. It takes our old energy and gives us new energy. And slowly bend your knees and roll up. Let's hold the back of one hand. This is called full body flow. Reach up and back. And then we're going to exhale forward and down into a full stretch. Bend your knees nice and slow. Inhale, rolling up. Reach up and back. Exhale, forward and down. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath. Roll up. Reach up and back, arms out to the sides. Wonderful. Walk it in, shake out the legs. And this is one of the principles we really work on in Qigong and it's especially good in the second trimester, resiliency. Having that strength, that fortitude, that inner power to keep your body open, healthy, and the qi circulating. All right, we're gonna do now going into flowing movements. Flowing movements are so important. They're very nourishing on many layers and levels. It's going to calm and relax your mind. It'll bring you into the present moment. It's going to circulate your energy. Think of these as moving meditations. All right, bend your knees, arms round. This one is called tree sways in the wind. Working again with that wood element. Turn to your right side, nice and slow. And like you're drawing nourishing energy up through the roots of the trees, let it let that energy rise up all the way to the top of the head. Come back to the center. Exhale, arms out to the sides. And turn. Inhale, move the energy through the legs, the ribs, the trunk of the body to the head. Come back to the center and exhale. Moving slowly so that your mind enters the present moment. Inhale. When the hands come out to the sides, feel that you can let go of any old energy. And inhale, bring in nourishing energy to the top of the head. Exhale, clear any mental stress. Clear any mental stress, compost it, and then draw in nourishing energy. And the wood element is about inner vision. It's about vision in general, but inner vision, your imagination. 
So here, keep your mind lined up with your highest vision of your pregnancy and this new life that's growing within you. Turn, inhale, bring that nourishing energy all the way through you. Exhale out any mental stress. Just find the rhythm and the flow. Qigong originated by watching nature. Trees are qi masters. They're always in touch and connected to source energy, the energy of the earth and the energy of the universe. So feel like you're connected to the energy below you and you're connected to the energy above you. Nature is always supporting you to be your best self. Bring that energy in and let it circulate. In Qigong, you move your body slowly to draw in, to receive more energy. Also, when you move your body slowly, you start to slow down your mind. And then we can truly be present with where we are and then guide and direct energy in the direction that we want it to go. Do one more time to each side. Nice deep breath. And just bring your arms round, round and in front of you. This is called embracing the tree, a lower position. And just feel the nourishing energy that you are cultivating now in your hands and circulating through the belly center and into the baby. Slow, deep breathing, feeling grounded, connected to the earth. Now extend your right hand forward. Your left hand's going to glide back. Here again, now we're open to receive whatever energy that we might need at this particular time. That back hand comes by your ear to your elbow and then pushes through. And then open, both hands open, take in energy from the universe. The back hand by the ear to the elbow and pushes through like you're swimming through the air, nice and slow. Exhale as you push through and inhale as your arms open. Exhale. Inhale. This exercise is called Repulse the Monkey. Repulse the Monkey. And it's a funny name for this idea that we're pushing away any negative thoughts. The monkey in Chinese medicine often represented the agitated mind. So we're pushing away mental stress, any agitation, any energy that you pick up from people around you or life circumstances, feel like you can clear it out and come back to your own pristine natural energy within you. Inhale as you open. Exhale as you push through. The source energy here is the universe. So when your arms open, open up to source energy, let yourself receive, draw in just the right amount of energy that you need at this particular time in your life. Open to receive and very gently just allow any agitation to cleanse or clear out. Relax into the flow, moving your body slowly with relaxation. Breath, body and movement all working together to create that alignment with your internal energy.
one more time. Bring your arms around, this time in front of your heart center. Take a few deep breaths like you're containing the energy that you want within you. Contain that inner peace, that loving kindness, that compassion, that deep, nourishing, relaxing energy. Hold it within you, breathe into it, let it circulate. Do a few of those wave breaths that we did to start class, in through the nose and out through the nose. Relax your arms down and just check in for a moment. See if you can feel that energy flowing and circulating within you. Chi is life. It's the life force energy. And as you're growing new life within you, we want to cultivate additional energy to support you and your baby. Let's do one more flow. Centering. Take your right hand underneath the lower abdomen. And the left hand's gonna circle around and come right down the midline. Good, and then circle around and down the midline. And just feel that you can reclaim your power. You can bring your energy back to yourself. Especially when we're pregnant, it's important to take charge of your own energy. Know when you can bring it back in because we all have lots of responsibilities, life circumstances. We invest our energy into work and family and friends. So feel this as a time where you can bring your energy back to yourself, reclaim your power and bring that life force energy into your hearts and then down into that growing life within your belly. Centering, inhale. Exhale. Nice deep breath. Exhale down. What is happening within you is a very natural process. It's organic. It grows from the inside out. You are bringing extra life force energy into your body to support that natural process. One more to each side. Bring your hands over your lower abdomen and your feet a little closer together. And just feel that deep, relaxing, nourishing energy circulating through you. Hands on the belly. Send that positive energy to the baby. And here, just imagine all those positive experiences yet to come. A healthy pregnancy moving through this second trimester with ease and relaxation, feeling that support from nature, the earth and the universe all around you. Breathe into that. Relax your hands down. Wonderful. I hope you enjoyed that. That feel good? Really good. Felt good to me. <laughs> feel so good to do together too. Because as partners, sometimes we don't know what to do, but we can do this together to create that support and that community and that connection to this new life that's growing within. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. Stay tuned for that third trimester routine. Until then.